for the sinners and the tax collectors and things of that nature. Yeah. Jesus had to let them know, let me tell you something, I got a mission. Uh -huh. That's right. I ain't come, come for those that are well. That's right. Right. I came for those that are sick. Yeah. Amen. Right. I came for the sinners. And we got to understand, he had a purpose. Yeah. When he interacted and fellowship with sinners, amen? Right. What is your purpose? Uh, mm -hmm. When you kick it with people whose lives contradict what the Word of God says, uh -huh. Ooh, right. what's your purpose? Mm -hmm. Are you really trying to uh, uh, lead them to the Lord? Are you really trying to witness to them? That's true. Yeah, are you trying to lead them to repentance or are you condoning and participating in wickedness? Because wow. I would dare to say that if you are hanging with a group of people that are wicked birds of a feather flock together. Amen. Right. Wow. Amen. And so the things need to change in your life. And even though you may be trying to blend in, it never totally works. That's right. It'll still be separate. Amen. And so when you think about it, you can't really help others if you're not right. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And so some of us really need to get our lives in order before we help somebody else. Right. See, how you going to take that cooler out of somebody's eye if you got a bottle of yak in yours? Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deal with your own issues. Amen. Amen. And a lot of us are not spiritually mature, rooted, and grounded for real to help somebody else. Because we don't pick up our Bible except on Sunday. We get it out the trunk or wherever we left it on the floor in the car and take it into church. Somebody say, turn to the book of book Acts, you can't find it. And we know that ain't a hard book to find. Some people are probably tripping her back. So what is he talking about? Is that in the Bible? <laughs> so we need to grow up spiritually, amen, before we can really help somebody else. So when you find yourself hanging around individuals, if you know you ain't right, you are out of position. So I just got a couple of questions for you before I actually sit down. Question, and I want you to be honest. How many of you in this room, by show of hands, believe the Bible to be true, full of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance? Amen. Amen. I have another question for you. Honestly. Because you talk to young people sometimes and they may feel like, you know, Ma, you tripping. What's wrong with me hanging with my friends? I ain't doing what they don't. And so how many of you truly believe that you can handle, and I want you to be honest, you can handle being with people who do things that you know aren't right because you've made up in your mind, you're just simply not going to do them. If you, if, if you believe that, raise your hand. I mean, they may be doing their dirt. It's not going to affect me because I'm just simply not going to do it. Amen. So we got some hands up. Amen. Well, I'm going to close with this scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 33 says... Do not be deceived. <laughs> Evil company corrupts good habits. Amen. So, Amen. who you really going to believe? Yourself mm. or the Word? Amen. You think you can handle it. Mm. But the Word of God is telling us straight up, don't be deceived. Right. Evil company corrupts good habits. So, sooner or later, you will find yourself operating outside of the character of God. Amen? So when it comes down to it, I'm going to believe the Word of God. And everybody in this room raised their hand and said that they believe the Word of God. So those of you that think you can handle it, the Word that you know that you can't, because it will corrupt you sooner or later. Oil and water don't mix 